Давай, давай, давай. Это я, дай нас сам, дай нас сам, дай нас сам. Им че фара? Им че фара, как не афа. О, я только сам фрида на цепицу. We enjoy the sunrise at Serignon and we are on our way to our fishing fields about 15 minutes from the shore I just wanted to share this our sea eagle fully loaded and uh, we head up for our last fishing session this season and what a way to start it Yeah, so uh, only in 40 minutes we had very productive uh, session. Horse mackerel and mackerel. And it's the only fish that we are able to get. <laughs> but uh, they're very happy, very happy just in 40 minutes. Um, so this blood is from one of the horse or mackerels. Uh, so now we are heading back the shore and you can see the the waves kind of big waves but uh, the wind the wind is uh, mild and there is no problem at all uh, for this boat we have no water in the boat at all oh uh, we have some well just, just from just, the waves at the start yes when, when, when we were when we were entering the water but that's it cool so yeah uh, very very happy with our last fishing uh, day here at uh, Serignon in the Mediterranean Sea in France. Yeah! I've been kayaking for about two and a half hours in this slightly choppy seas and uh, the wind is about 15 miles per hour um, the, the kayak was uh, performed really well uh, I had maybe three, about three liters of seawater from the waves which I drained see uh, a little bit left so I just uh, open uh, this I just open one of the valves like, like this you see and it drains Then I just close it. So for these conditions, it was fine. I didn't need to open the valve. So I had uh, just water, but basically soaking my seat, and I, I was seeing just a little bit here, but nothing else. Really fine. So really stable, really strong. No issues at all. Uh, really happy. Really. Okay. Now we've just finished our last fishing session for this season and I just wanted to share with you my thoughts about this wonderful boat Sea Eagle Fast Track Angler boat which uh, we had uh, for our trip 
10 days here south south france mediterranean sea so i got this boat specifically to be able to get a kayak uh, in france we live in england journey is about 1000 miles so i i don't have a very big car so i just need something i can transport and still have some room for everything else that you a family will take with them for a trip like this um so i'm very very happy with this boat um i haven't seen much reviews about uh, it performing in sea it was mostly about fresh water lakes and stuff and things that i'm not really interested in so i took a chance it it looked stable but actually i'm really really impressed by it um, so the things that i like first it inflates very fast for about five minutes in your way uh, and then five five more minutes to put the seeds and stuff and you just well, very quick and also the deflation is also very quick so while we were here for 10 days i just inflated it once and just kept it here uh, i had one lock and i just put it here the strap around this um, and this is how i store it at night no problems at uh, at all uh, once i inflated it um, on in two days i checked it and uh, it got from three bars to or psi i don't know psi to yes from a, a three psi it got down to one psi so i i had to inflate it again and uh, so just just bear in mind where if you store it for a long time inflated before you go with the pump uh, check check the pressure inflate a little bit more back to side to side uh, so that's one uh, then um uh, about the positive sides so for um, i told you about how quick it is to set it up then uh about performance see really it's a really fast boat i have one more kayak and this one is way fast uh, which is not inflatable this one is way fast um, really easy to paddle responsive and uh, keeps a straight line Two people, no problem. Um, uh, two people, big people. So, uh, really, really happy with it. So how it fits? Um, it it uh, says uh, three persons, but well, we've tried to fit three, but honestly, <laughs> it's uh, very uncomfortable. You can fit two very well. Uh, we are two. Um, six feet each of us and more actually, a bit more of six feet uh, and um, we fit here so the way i do it is i put uh, this seat at the very end of the boat you see with the straps back to the maximum basically and uh, see how little room it has and and the other boat is around here with straps relatively short uh, but like this and um, it is important that you keep the pressure here this uh, well uh, oh, is pressure strain or whatever is, is the word so you have good support for your back that's really important these should not be loose need to be like this you know so you have a very good support for your back um i did uh, several about four or five hours um non-stop and i had absolutely no issues with my back really really comfortable so make sure you get these seats if you like to do sea sea fishing you need the seats for longer sessions otherwise not comfortable and also you have this extremely well these are this, this turn to be extremely useful 
um, pockets here. You can this is front, uh, you can use this clasp and the zip. And I stored all my fishing gear here, and the GoPro and the uh, lures and and everything else here. And uh, not really this one because I I was sitting here as I was using this one. <laughs> but yeah, it was extremely extremely support, um, good to have this one. Very useful. Uh, what else? I didn't really use this one. Um, so about the uh, the valve. So first, uh, before I just let me take this out. The boat now is uh, you know, washed, so I will just uh, deflate it soon. We'll pack it back. But um, uh, so I just wanted to have a word about this this here, this valve. So these valves are for you to basically take water out out of the boat like this so what happens in the seas uh, if it is wavy there are waves and wind uh, you get water in the boat and this this boat has no means no other means uh, to get the water out unless you use these valves so these are very key valves to have so first uh, I really didn't enter the water in very a stormy sea I wouldn't do that ever for safety but um, we uh, we went uh, with no it was wavy it was choppy and uh, windy we went just to do some kayaking around the shore and uh, we got maybe three four liters of water so I didn't really need to use this but what uh, in, in normal conditions, if you don't see like white uh, on the waves, you know, uh, less than 10 miles per hour wind, usually, you have no no issues and the water doesn't enter the boat. So we, we stayed relatively dry all the time. I mean, yes, dry. The only time we got water in was when we were landing and, you know, there are waves at the end. Uh, then then we got some water maybe what like, even got about 10 liters of water because it was we had very big waves on the beach so i had to use them and the water gets really heavy when you have water uh, the boat gets really heavy when you have water in there so these are very useful valves and um, the only i have a pro i had a problem with them initially when i bought uh, when i got the boat and uh, i tested it our lakes uh, and uh, it was leaking from there and then I read the instructions and they said that if you store it for a longer time then this might get you know uh, maybe leaking from basically from this side from, from the opposite side but basically from here so in order to fix them you need to use a hair dryer for a few minutes and then from the from the opposite side from this side and i think from the opposite side you just press them and this indeed fixed the problem here i didn't have these issues so i did it once and that was it uh, here i had the well that's a bit the inconvenient thing that you need to basically have a hair dryer with you when you use the boat so i had to take it with me now for this trip uh, and I really didn't need it, so that's a bit, you know, uh, not great, but I really had no issues and didn't need to use it, but it's worth to mention, otherwise you just get water in there. Um, what else? Um, so these are obviously for to inflate, deflate, very easy to clean, and uh, at last don't forget this bit I know it's called skik or skik or fino I don't know this bit is super important if you forget to put it then you basically cannot paddle straight and the boat is unusable really for 
for fishing or for kayaking so make sure to uh, put this uh, before you go and I actually store it with this thing on I store it on the beach or um, it doesn't break easily and uh, in order for you to remove it you need to press it this side and but first remove this lock here it's uh, really stable and the boat is itself very sturdy we used very sharp hooks well i didn't test them here but we didn't manage to uh, make punctures or any problems so that's it so they're very in summary very fast very secure boat extremely well great fun to paddle and if you are not an angler and you're, you're not for fishing you just want you know, for kayaking totally go ahead it's very fast very comfortable and very easy to store it uh, takes uh, not uh, much uh, space but please make also sure to have two people to transport it you need two people one here one there to uh, to basically from the moment you inflate it to bring it to the sea if you're really strong you can use these two and do it yourself uh, i think it's about 25 kilos but yeah for short distances it's fine but uh, the sea is right there like for us 200 meters so yeah, i prefer to get one of the boys to help me So when you deflate it, you see how easy it is to access this space where the valves are. So this one is, you can move it. You can take it out and clean it, which is really convenient. So I have some more water here. Uh, and also, a very nice is uh, that you can put your rods here to here to there that's awesome okay and uh, for cleaning you can take all this out you see and you actually i have to take it because there's so much sand here so i will take it wash it dry it and that's our kayak packed until next time thank you see you go so i hope this was a helpful review for you to watch and uh, thank you for watching see you next time bye